Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. I'm glad to have you back here on my channel with news regarding a new battery of CATL and plenty of other updates. Starting with Tesla updates, the um, profile on Twitter, they are reporting Tesla keeps making changes. Well, that's not a surprise to the server, which the app connects to hinting at some upcoming changes. So again, those kind of changes might be coming, for example, in the US before us here in Europe. Sometimes we have some kind of difference in update times. So it's not always coming at the same time worldwide. So you kind of have a few points here that they are working on. These might be already stuff that is already in there, but they are maybe changing little stuff um, that we could see in a next software update. Also looking into news in Germany, we have Deutsche Bank that was actually inside the factory. They had a chance to look into it like UBS as well. And now they are targeting $375. So this is something that is coming um, not as a surprise. Um, we have seen that um, many times in the past that people were able to go into the Fremont factory um, from a company or investor side or for example from a big bank and they could see what really happens and then they are pretty much astonished and then they just say well we're going to increase our price target. And this is what's happening right now here in Germany as well. Tesla stock up by 2.18% in the morning pre-market in Germany might be changing once you are checking out this video. So this is as well some good news. Um, again, stock market and Tesla stock is not everything. Of course, the results are important. But now as we are seeing many ships coming from China, the final push in Q3 is already happening. It's already on its way. And for the German market, um, I do see a lot of people for the long range actually receiving their cars right now. Um, the delivery times are really shortening here. So I hope um, this will keep coming. Then we're looking into Sichuan in China. You might say, why is he talking again about that? Well, for the European factory, it's very important because if um, factories cannot produce batteries, for example, in China, um, this might be an issue for Giga Berlin as well, because we're still receiving battery packs from China. But it seems like the drought is over. Um, it's even in the other way. Um, too much water right now over there, but hopefully um, this will be solved or be done um, very soon. Looking into the carriers moving to Europe, we have um, again Pag Paganella um, down there um, to Australia, but you have Glovis Courage as the last one, as I mentioned. Um, RCC Antwerp, we can ignore that, but Glovis Companion. So if you're from the UK, you will receive in a few days your Tesla, hopefully. Glovis Challenge, Glovis Sunrise, Glovis Crystal, and we also have Glovis Courage. A total of five ships still in the Indian Ocean and Chinese um, Sea. So we are expecting many more cars, even though yesterday we had a lot of VIN allocations, especially um, people are saying it could be already the um, Glovis Crystal. So we have to um, wait for confirmation. Then Tesla seeks to overturn Louisiana's ban on direct car sales. And for all those who don't know what's going on there, it is an issue we have, especially in the United States. Um, some areas it's not possible to sell directly to customers, which is something that is really, really frustrating for Tesla. But the lobbying is uh, the lobby parties are so big. Um, they spend so much money. Um, to convince um, politic and governments um, to make these kind of um, laws or bans. So Tesla is trying to go against that. Um, let's see if this working out. Tesla has been working on that for a long time with different states. Um, if you're from Texas, maybe you can give me an update because I didn't find anything. If the law that Tesla cannot sell directly to Texas people is still in place or if they changed that already because Tesla is investing so much money in the um, Austin market. Then Joe Tickmeyer talking about the 4680 cells. He corrected himself down below. Um, we see a lot of 4680 battery packs, which is exciting as well. Again, this is not an indication that we see a massive ramp up yet um, because, of course, they can be collected and stored over there, but it's um, not an indication yet. But I hope it will be happening very soon. Um, for Giga Berlin, some people might ask me what's going on with the battery factory in Giga Berlin. Well, the outside is pretty much done, guys. So that is the very good news about that. 
and we can expect that all the stuff needed for the production is going to move in in um, hopefully Q4 and that would be actually in the exact timeline as I have been speaking for this battery um, cell production for a long time. End of the year, everything is maybe inside. They're testing all the machines and then by Q1, maybe some task production and then towards Q2 next year, maybe some higher production and maybe they are able to learn from what they are doing in Austin and Kettle Road and be able to um, make the production happening even faster um, as initially planned. So that is some good news as well, but we're going to look into CATL and the batteries because CATL is working on them. Um, it's pretty interesting. They are working on a condensed cell um, that is every, actually having features including high safety, reliability and good cycle life. Um, in this case, Wu Kai, the find, founder of CATL, didn't really specify now um, what we could finally achieve with this new kind of battery that is supposed to come in 2023. Um, we still have to wait for that. Um, what is the range they are expecting? What's the energy density? What they are expecting? Cycle of life is always a very good and very important part as well. What happens um, if you charge at a very um, yeah, high rate? Is that going to affect the battery or not? Um, in the middle part, you also see the Quillin battery. Um, the volume um, production is supposed to happen as well. And this is going to have uh, exceeding 72% um, of energy density and um, reach, reach around 255 watt hour. Um, so supporting a vehicle range of a thousand kilometers. But again, um, keep in mind, China has different ways of calculating range. So we might see here um, some kind of um, Chinese version of range estimates. I do expect it to be around 800 to 900 kilometers in European measures. Um, again, I'm not an expert in batteries, so I'm just providing you with the information. There might be details. Um, I cannot really explain you, um, but I hope that there will be more updates and details what these new batteries will be capable of, a part of the range, but more like into the um, energy density and of course into the um, what is the battery all about what kind of uh, materials they have um, what do they use um, will they be cheaper or not so these are all open questions I hopefully can answer you um, in the coming weeks if we get more details so um, thank you very much for your support if you're new here do consider subscribing I would really appreciate that and I do wish you a wonderful day hope to see you back here very soon take care